Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 9 of the uh, Moimon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. So last episode we caught Quagsire, I said that we would... Oops. Uh, ooh, a Hound Doom, okay. That's Dark Fire, I believe. Six should do some damage. Yeah, because I believe ground is super effective against either fire or dark. I don't know why ground would be super effective against dark, but you know, there's some weird typings. Um, like what? Uh, and speaking of weird typings, there's somewhere it's just like, uh, you have to kind of extrapolate like what makes sense. Like, I remember seeing a post online where it was like explaining certain ones. It was like, oh, why Psychic is super effective against... Okay, so HMs do say the same. Which is good, because I wouldn't be able to get certain things without them. And I have these. And I got, just got Blue Scarf. Oh, Beauty Aspect. That's pointless. Um, I don't have any rock type moves. Okay, I just wanted to check that. Hello, Gym Leader. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the Hidden Move Rock Smash? Yeah, I know. Uh, fallen bowlers need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you get to the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. See ya. Okay. So I forget what I was saying. Um. Yeah, I was just checking items, HMs. Yeah, I'm just running away from shoppers. They're a little too dangerous for my liking. Um, Leechy Berry, uh, Quagsire, making sure that we can do the gym. Yeah, I, I, it, my brain just let go of that thought. Okay, that's a magic carp. Seed bomb. See, I really wish I could get some stab moves. Toke Kiss, that's a normal type. I don't have any fighting types. Uh, check moves. I'm gonna send Cooper in just because Londa has some damage. Uh, and he has less, and probably slightly better stats. Um. Let's try Dragon Claw. Because this is before Fairy Type was a thing, so I'm pretty sure Tokikiss is a Fairy Type and cursed me, so I have less speed fail, but. Oh no, okay. I thought that was the one that decreased my PP on whatever move I used to attack it. Boink. Okay. Level, cool. Okay, here's the Hoken level 15 isn't the. Uh, Level where it starts to, uh, no, I don't want a Thief. Let's give up on Thief. I don't care about Thief. Con, Mercy, I okay, Mercy, okay. That's fine. Um, I don't want, okay, yep, yeah, forgot that there was that ledge there. I'm guessing the idea is you're supposed to go down, uh, go on the ledge, then just do a full loop that way. Ooh, a Rhyperior, that would have been nice because you can only get that one from trade. But it's a super heavy Pokemon, and I thought I had Seedra, or uh, other one. But I guess it doesn't really matter, because level 14 was Seabomb. I believe that's like a rock ground type, so it was quad effective, uh, which is a thing. Um, okay. I'm gonna fight the gym leader today, hopefully. <laughs> well, I'm gonna fight it today, but maybe not this episode, because I gotta... Uh, it, it's kind of a waste if you don't fight every... Um... Okay, cool. It, it's kind of a waste if you don't fight every um, trainer in the gym, because you're just uh, losing XP, really. Because... Um... Because... Trainers give more XP than wild Pokemon, and uh, the gyms are just, like, generally they're easy to handle, because you know what type they're going to have. 
of course, in this, it's a little bit more dangerous. Because uh, they could just curb stomp me. Oh my god, the encounter rate, man. At least this is a Pokemon I can deal with easily. So, uh, one quirky thing that you can do with the randomizer and its settings is you could uh, set the randomizer so um, Pokemon only learn a metronome. And that's the only move any Pokemon knows. So you're just always rolling for those random shots at, uh, at just getting a good move or not. And I would find that utterly infuriating. Because you're essentially rolling for the same chance as using, like, uh, Sheer Cold and Fissure as you are for Self-Destruct and Explosion. But then you also have to take into account that, like, what if you just keep getting status moves? Like, you just keep getting Leer and Growl and moves such as that. So, between episodes I did not do anything uh, else. I didn't go grind um, any Pokémon. But I never really did check out Derpy Dur. So yeah, water ground like I thought. So grass is gonna be terrible. Uh, download adjust power according to the foe's ability, huh? Uh, okay, has spikes as well. Uh, so unfortunately, Homer doesn't really have any good attack moves yet. I believe it has Shadow Force, which is decent. Uh, I just want to check that. Yes, that's Shadow Force, that's five. Um, I'm going to switch Neptune to the front, because he's a good lead he's a good um, lead Pokemon. Yeah, okay, what's up? How's it going champ to be? That's what I really <laughs> that's what I said to a really impatient boy earlier too. Gym leaders use a rock type. Listen well, rock type Pokemon hate water, alright. They're also weak to grass type moves. Gee, they share our weaknesses, but don't think it'll be easy. You don't get to be a gym leader without covering for weaknesses. Going after rock type Pokemon with a fire type won't be easy either. That's all the advice I have. Thanks for listening. And before I go into the gym, because I just had the thought, I'm wondering if I can go here and uh hello. How are you? I stay with Pokemon fossils. Uh, I can extract Pokemon, but not yet. Oh, damn. Okay. So, I thought maybe I could give the dome fossil to that guy and get a Kabuto and Kabutops. Although, I'm not sure if the fossils guarantee me the Pokemon that they should in a randomizer. Uh, so, I'm going to save. Uh, because this is what you're supposed to do. Uh, and luckily, the, I believe the times are getting shorter. And my Pokemon are all healed up. So, let's go. Uh, uh, you avoid the long way around. Let's see why you do that. Well, because I want your XP, bud. Oh, Mantine. Awesome. Glad I put Neptune out front. Uh, the cutoff line really does bother me, though. Um, so Grass Knot, and I have Electric Beam if, if I need to. Oh, I'm surprised. Ooh, Charge Beam. That's not good. Hmm, don't quite like that. Because... Okay, whatever. I'll just switch out to Cooper. Because I could have sworn that Mantine was Water-type. Okay, so you're going to use Rest. Awesome. Make sure you get your health back, but chances are you are not going to wake up again before I kill you. And for all I know, it is actually death, because I never get to fight these guys again. So these guys could quite literally be uh, constrained by the laws of life and death. Okay. Good. Got 176, and then, of course, you have to do the... Uh, like, this is the one thing uh, that I have to make sure I do, and it'll be slightly annoying. Uh, I might speed up the uh, the second one, because there's only three trainers in this gym, uh, one being the gym leader. And that is, between each battle, I am going to be going to the uh, Pokemon Center because it is so close, and this is the first gym. Uh, 
And this gives me an opportunity to take the long way. Whoa! It's like I skipped the entire gym by taking the one shortcut. And I'll sneak up on you from behind. Yeah. Darius. Okay, I'm a chop. Uh, that's fighting type. Uh, which is just weak to psychic. I'm just going to use attack. I think it's doesn't resist bug. I think it's ne neutral. Oh, no, really? Copy the poison point. Okay, I'm going to try grass knot. How does that do? Okay. Better? Oh, that's a contact move? What bullcrap is that? I had poison point? I forgot about that. Because no one ever initiates it. Okay, so now I really need to go to the uh, Pokemon Center. What's the move? Faint. What's faint? Because I know faint attack is decent. An attack that hits a foe using protect uh, so lifts the effects of the... Uh, that requires them to actually be using it. Cancel. Uh, give up on faint. Okay. Oh yeah, and there's two Pokemon. Full picks. Do I have anyone with a water move? No, but uh, Londa has magnitude, which I believe I believe ground is good against fire. Although we'll learn, won't we? Because the only like meta in this game is oh magnitude ten. Get scraped. Yeah, awesome. Magnitude 10 is just the best. It's the best it can possibly be. Okay, and then... God damn it. Go down the stairs, you frick. And it is the matter of steps. It's not the speed at which you go that affects uh, poison. So me going at a running speed just expedites the process. Um... And we're going back. And then we're going to fight the gym leader. And I have a couple minutes left in this episode. So, hopefully this battle does not take long. I believe he has two Pokemon. Or three. Uh, oh, I tried to use the rod again. Uh, okay. So, Neptune up front. Uh, and then it doesn't really matter. Uh, because he has pretty damn good type coverage. Just across the board. Um... So, save one last time before the gym leader. It's amazing seeing that we have a Pokedex of 26 already, <laughs> when I don't even think that would be possible uh, regularly. Uh, Orberg Pokemon Gym, Rourke, the gym leader. Um, but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with rock types. As a gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer, and I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. See, rock types are not... Uh, strong. They're, in my brain, they're about equivalent as bug types, except they can have sturdy, which is an annoying ability. Reggie Ice. My god. <laughs> okay. Um, what's up, man? Uh, is bug weak against ice? That does 20 damage. Yeah, it cuts my life in half. Uh, cut my life in two pieces. This is my last resort. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this so I can flame whale it. I was not expecting a Reggie Ice, I'll be completely honest. Crunch, that's dark, but wouldn't do much. Flame wheel. Uh, I'm not sure if ground is also super effective against Reggie Ice. It might be. Super Fang, that'll bring it down to 16. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, I'll use the potion. Fuck. Okay. But that does remind me that I have potions. But it seems like its strongest move, it's gonna be able to... Oh, sweet. It's burned, so it only gets uh, half damage. That's one of the effects of burn. It cuts attack in half. But it's probably not gonna survive this move. So that's good. Oh, that's such a sad sound. Even though that's ripped probably right out of... Dojo. Um, do I have any rock? Um, 
check moves. No. Um, check moves. Because I believe it's normal or flying. I can't write, quite remember. Derpy Dare. I'm going to send out Homura just to check it out. I might actually uh, use Homura to... Um, oh my god, level 14? Damn. I really wasn't expecting them to be this uh, high level. Uh, potions. I'm going to use it to get Neptune back up to snuff. Mist Ball. Is that a water type move? Didn't seem to do all that much. Um, nope. Okay, I'm going to uh, fire spin. Gastro acid. Homer's ability was suppressed, so okay, that doesn't matter because hail was already a thing. Okay. And I get one health back from the shell bell, which isn't that much. I'm wondering if it's like a percentage of health that I get back. Seed, just gust. That's just a, that's just like a weak flying type of. That's nothing to be uh, scared about. Okay, so now all its DOTs are on it, which is nice, and it doesn't seem to have a move that's extremely strong, which is really nice. The only thing annoying about having so many uh, dots on it is that it takes a bit to get through all of the animations. Mist Ball didn't do all that much. Unless, like, I don't ever remember seeing the move Mist Ball. Ever. So, buffed by Hail. Uh, Leech Seed. Vortex. Oh my god. Okay, it doesn't affect. really hoping that it wasn't a normal type, but... Okay, I'm going to go into Pokemon, and I'm going to send out Cooper, because it doesn't seem to have any flying types, or flying type moves, so Cooper isn't in danger. Oh yeah, I forgot, I forgot about Gust. Shit, I forgot about Gust. Okay, didn't do all that much. Crits will have a problem, but even then I think I would be able to survive it. Um, and I'm getting Leaf Seed back, so that's good. Okay. And then I'm going to use Dragon Claw, because that's one that I can just kind of guarantee that it'll be effective. Wouldn't have been effective against Reggie Ice. Okay, so all the DOT should uh, kill Dodrio this turn. Yeah, the Leaf Seed will do it. And this episode is going to go on for a little bit longer than I thought it was, mostly because I think I underestimated this uh, gym leader a little bit. Not all that much, but definitely a little bit. Uh, mostly because poison. What's good against poison? Let's check my moves. Uh, I have no recollection of what is good against poison. And Gulpin is the unevolved form of Swalot. So I'm gonna see how I do with Gopin. Uh, I think you take down the next Pokemon like you did. Yeah, honestly, your other two seem to be a bit more impressive in terms of, uh, I'm doing this to see what moves it has. Okay, it has Sandstorm. So I wonder if Sandstorm and Hail happen. Okay, but at least Shadow Force works. Body Slam should be all that effective. Sandstorm Rages. And Cooper is faster than Gulpin. So, uh, no way, not yet. Not giving up. Uh, gonna use Blaze Kick, I guess. Yeah, figured it would be neutral. And it's a good move. Because it has high accuracy, high damage, and a high crit rate. Uh, yeah, good. Okay, beat my first gym. We beat the first gym, guys. Congrats. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single... How is that embarrassing? You're the first gym leader. 
Uh, but that's tough. You're strong and I was weak. That's all there is. According to the Pokemon League rules, I have to give you a badge. Uh, give you our bat gym badge since you've beaten me the leader is your official Pokemon League coal badge I received the coal badge from Rourke uh, having that coal badge means your Pokemon can use a hidden move rock smash outside of battle you should also take this too TM 76 so he's going to describe a move that I um, didn't yeah so it's not stealth rock um, and as the final thing of this episode let's see what it is uh, got Grass Knot. Awesome. Yes. Uh, heavier the foe, greater the damage. So with that, I'm going to end this episode here, because we have successfully beaten the gym. I uh, hope you all have a very nice day, and will join me in episode 10. Bye.